I used to play this game all the time with my students when I taught basic reading and they absolutely loved it. And I was just in a classroom and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember this game I used to play and it was so much fun. And the kids were sweating, laughing, and just having a blast with it. So this is a great game. Again, it can be used for any subject. And so it's called Knockout. Um, and I used it for basic reading. However, you could do math facts. You could do whatever type of game you might want to do. And so the rules um, are there's two different teams. Um, so the goal is to be the team with players left on their team. Um, and then it's also to have fun and it's challenging. So students, um, we kind of talk about real quick, like what we will do, what we won't do. And then I also go over like the rules of the game at first. So there's two different teams and they line up. So here's the board, here's team one, here's team two. Um, and then you, the students will, whoever reads the word first um, is in, the other student is out. And then there's chances for them to come back in as well, um, as you might see fit. So sometimes I'll just say, all right, this team's back in and just kind of make up my own rules as I go. But um, there are different cards that you can add. So here's like the cards for them to get kicked out or they can come back in. Um, so that if a student is up there, that red student is automatically out. If they get a, a free pass, um, they're good to go. If they get pick up how they have to bring someone that is already out back up. So again, there's some cards um, for the unexpected and the kids love these random cards built in. And then um, we just talk about like if somebody shouts out an answer, they're out. <laughs> um, and talking about like both players answer correctly at the same time, then they continue to the next slide. Um, or you can send them to the end of the line. That's totally up to you. Um, and again, the kids, kids love this. So you show this screen and you go, are you ready when you're ready to play? And then as soon as you go to the next screen, the game begins. So whoever reads this word first um, and correct wins. So the red team would have chair, the yellow team would have laid. And then again, whoever's first on that word is in, the one that's not is out. Um, so here's the next slide and you just kind of go. And again, you go pretty quick. Um, here's another one where it's knockout, so they have to take a seat. And then again, you just kind of go. Here's that free pass, knockout. This one, that, again, they're just reading. And then I added spelling in. So um, these words, they had to spell the word. They had to go up to the whiteboard with a marker. And whoever spelled the word first on their line um, and correctly um, got to stay in. The other student had to leave. So again, there's some spelling here. There's that pick up how for them to come back in, knockout. Then I had them write sentences. Um, so they had to listen to the sentence first, and then they had to write it for a student to write it correctly. Uh, got to stay in again. And so here's the next part. Um, and you, again, like you can add whatever order you want. You could randomize it. You could just have them read words. You could have them just write uh, sentences. You could have them do whatever you wanted. Um, yesterday, this was the group's favorite, the unscrambled letters. So this makes a word. Um, they have to unscramble the words to make vain. Um, so again, students unscramble. I put the answer key down here just in case um, I forget because I'm just presenting this with the kids. So again, I can go in and I'm able to add these free passes wherever I might want to um, in the game or I can take them out. So again, I can kind of decide what order, how I want the game to look. And then I just hit present mode. And then we just go. So students just read the letters quickly um, and then they unscramble. And again, with the unscramble, they're up at the whiteboard with a marker and they're unscrambling those words, both, um, both students. So again, feel free to customize this game. I don't know who the original creator is. So if it's you, let me know so I can give you credit. Um, but again, it's so much fun to play and the kids absolutely love to play this game. Um, so it can be a great review for any subject.